What if we told you that kindness, a virtue often praised, could actually ruin your life? A curious proposition, isn't it? Often we're told to be kind, to extend a helping hand, to give without expecting in return. But have you ever stopped to consider the potential dangers of excessive kindness? Could this revered virtue be a double-edged sword? Today we're going to explore this fascinating conundrum and introduce you to the 15 ways your kindness might just be your downfall. So buckle up and stay with us as we delve deeper into this intriguing subject. Starting with the first way, kindness can create unrealistic expectations. Picture this, you're always there for people, lending a hand, offering a shoulder, and going out of your way to help. Sounds like a noble act, right? But here's the twist. This consistent kindness sets a precedent. People start expecting this level of kindness all the time. And when you can't deliver due to your own personal reasons or constraints, it leads to disappointment and resentment. Suddenly your kindness becomes a burden, a standard that you're expected to uphold constantly. And that, my friends, can be draining. Moving on to the second way, kindness can foster dependence. Let's say you're always helping your colleague with their workload. You're kind, you want to help, and you don't mind the extra work. But over time, your colleague starts relying on you too much. They stop taking initiatives, stop pushing themselves, and become dependent on your kindness. The result? You're stuck with an additional workload and they lose their ability to be self-reliant. Kindness, in this case, ends up doing more harm than good. Lastly, let's talk about the third way, how kindness can encourage laziness. Imagine you're always cleaning up after your roommate. You're just being kind, right? But this kindness can inadvertently encourage their laziness. They might start taking your kindness for granted, leaving their mess for you to clean up. Over time, this could lead to resentment. Not only does your kindness not get appreciated, but it also encourages negative traits in others. So we see how kindness, despite its noble intentions, can create unrealistic expectations foster dependence and encourage laziness. It's a paradox, isn't it? How something so benevolent can have negative impacts. But remember, this isn't about demonizing kindness. It's about understanding its potential pitfalls and using it wisely. While these are just the initial ways, let's delve deeper. Moving on to the fourth way, kindness can lead to being taken advantage of. Let's delve into that. Picture this. You're always there for everyone, always ready to lend a hand. That's commendable, isn't it? But there's a flip side. Some might perceive your constant readiness as an open invitation to exploit your kindness. They might start expecting you to always be there, to always solve their problems. And before you even realize it, your kindness has become a one-way street. You give, they take. And that's not a healthy balance, is it? Now, let's move on to the fifth way, experiencing emotional exhaustion. It's like this. When you're always the one offering a shoulder to cry on, the emotional toll can be devastating. You absorb others' pains, their worries, their fears, and it starts to weigh on you. You become a sponge for negativity, which can lead to emotional burnout. While it's wonderful to empathize, it's also crucial to remember that you can't pour from an empty cup. Finally, the sixth way kindness could ruin your life is by creating a sense of entitlement in others. When you're always there, always giving, some might start to take your kindness for granted. They might begin to feel entitled to your time, your energy, your resources, and when that happens, it can lead to resentment and strained relationships. The key here is to remember that kindness is a gift, not an obligation. As we peel back the layers, the impact of kindness becomes more complex. It's not all sunshine and roses, but don't let that deter you from being kind. Instead, let it guide you to practice kindness in a balanced, healthy way. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the next set of ways kindness could potentially wreak havoc on your life. You might find them surprising, enlightening, and maybe even a little bit liberating as we continue to explore this intriguing question of kindness. Scene script. Seventh on our list, kindness can blur the lines of personal boundaries. Imagine this scenario, you're always there for your friends, your colleagues, even for that neighbor who's never around when you need a favor. You're the epitome of kindness. But over time, this kindness can erode the clear boundaries that keep relationships healthy and balanced. When you're always available, always ready to offer a helping hand, it becomes difficult for others to understand where your limits lie. 
They might begin to take advantage of your kindness, not out of malicious intent, but simply because they've grown accustomed to your ever-present willingness to help. Moving on to the eighth way, your kindness can inadvertently encourage selfishness in others. When we're always ready to step in and solve problems for people, we risk fostering a sense of entitlement in them. They start to expect your assistance, your time, your resources, without giving much thought to the effort you're putting in or the sacrifices you're making. It's like feeding a stray cat. Once you start, it expects you to keep providing. And if you don't, it'll just move on to the next willing provider. Now let's talk about the ninth way kindness can wreak havoc by fostering a lack of appreciation. When kindness is given freely and frequently, it can often lose its value in the eyes of the receiver. Think about it, if you're always being kind, always going the extra mile, people might start to take your actions for granted. They may stop appreciating your efforts, seeing them as a given rather than a generous act. This lack of appreciation can be disheartening, leaving you feeling unvalued and unacknowledged. As we continue, it becomes clear that kindness can have some unexpected consequences. But remember, this doesn't mean you should stop being kind. It's about finding a balance, setting boundaries, and ensuring that your kindness is not taken for granted. Stay tuned as we explore more ways kindness can unexpectedly impact your life. Tenth on our list, kindness can lead to a loss of focus on personal goals. It's not uncommon for people to get so embroiled in the act of being kind, they often forget about their own ambitions. They become so consumed with making others happy, they sideline their own needs and desires. This is not to say that being kind is bad, but it's crucial to strike a balance. You must not forget that your dreams, aspirations and personal growth are just as important. Moving on to the 11th point, kindness can create an imbalance in relationships. It's a beautiful thing to be kind and giving in a relationship, but an excess of anything can lead to problems. When one person is always the giver and the other always the receiver, it creates a power dynamic that can be unhealthy. The giver might start feeling taken for granted while the receiver might develop a sense of entitlement. In a balanced relationship, both parties should be givers and receivers. Kindness should not be a one-way street. Lastly, for this segment, we discuss how kindness can foster a lack of self-care. Self-care is not just about spa days and bubble baths. It's about setting boundaries, saying no when necessary, and taking time for yourself. However, if you're always focused on being kind to others, you might neglect your own well-being. You might feel guilty for taking time for yourself or saying no to someone who needs help. This constant focus on others can lead to burnout and a depletion of your own resources, both mental and physical. Remember, kindness towards others should not come at the cost of kindness towards yourself. It's important to be good to others, but it's equally important to be good to yourself. So while kindness is a virtue, like everything else in life, it needs to be practiced in moderation and with wisdom. As we near the end of our list, the impact of kindness becomes even more surprising. Finally, we reach the last three ways in which kindness can ruin your life. First, let's talk about the savior complex, a phenomenon where your kindness can lead you to believe that you are responsible for saving others. This is an impossible task for any one person, and it can lead to significant emotional burnout. Next, we have the fostering of a lack of self-esteem. When you're always giving and never allowing yourself to receive, it can create a subconscious message that your needs, desires and self-worth are lesser than others. This can severely impact your self-esteem. Lastly, your kindness could encourage a cycle of guilt. Every time you fail to help someone or say no, it might make you feel guilty. This guilt can be a heavy burden to carry, often leading to stress and anxiety. As we conclude our list, it's clear that kindness, while a virtue, can have some unexpected pitfalls. In conclusion, while kindness is a virtue, it's not without its downsides. Today we've journeyed through 15 surprising ways kindness can backfire. We've uncovered its complex nature, showing how this seemingly positive trait can, in certain circumstances, lead to our downfall. It's been a thought-provoking exploration, revealing the nuanced reality of human behavior. Remember, it's not about abandoning kindness, but understanding its potential impacts and balancing it with other important aspects of life.